On this week's World Menu, we delve into the source of power. Foods that strengthen you. We'll look at foods in the East and West that invigorate. Eels are stamina food with plenty of vitamin A. Oh, he's gonna oh. eat him. Oh, let go. We'll discover a new world of eel dishes on this week's Healthy Kitchen. What do you think is the real charm and beauty of traveling? Hmm, discovering breathtaking views or meeting new friends in strange places? Well, experiencing different foods can also make your travels worthwhile. Something delicious can probably help you revive from a long journey, and when it does, you can't forget it. And this week on Cuisine Tour, we have prepared all sorts of foods that might revive your health and spirits. World Menu The entire body is giving off warning signals. All your energy is gone, your health hits rock bottom. When our bodies cry out for us to regain our strength, certain foods can be the answer. Whether east or west, famous healthy ingredients come together, creating these so-called stimulant foods to help us recuperate. When you need to regain your vitality, don't think twice about these foods. Health Food Relay. One Chinese specialty restaurant. The buzz is that this restaurant serves alligator as a stimulant food. First, cook the alligator tail in boiling water and remove the parts you don't need from the skin. Spread the sauce on the outer side and lightly fry it. It tastes a bit like chicken, but the meat is firmer. So the most important point is to cook it so it's tender. Take the fried alligator and marinate it in a sauce that has soy sauce, stock and herbal medicine, then steam it for about two hours. And that's not the end. It's time to slice the alligator tail, but they say you need some special skills to do this. <laughs> The bite-sized alligator tail pieces get coated with flour and soaked in another sauce. Stir-fry it Chinese style and add some flavoring and it's finally finished. This steamed alligator tail dish takes a lot of effort, but it's a low-fat, high-protein dish, which is the defining characteristic of stamina food. In China, which is the kingdom of foods that invigorate your body, the one that tops all charts is buldojang, a soup with dozens of healthy ingredients. Buldojang is the most popular Chinese food in China, and it's a popular Chinese food, especially for the most popular Chinese food. The true value of the soup lies in the fact that it combines all of the healthy top quality ingredients from both the ocean and land. Shark's fin, vegetable worms, carp bladder, abalone, ginseng, these ingredients and more with herbal medicine are probably making your eyes widen. These ingredients are all put in a small pot for one and cooked. The stock that helps bring out the different flavors and healthy nutrients is key. Pour in the stock until it covers all the ingredients and put it back in the steamer. Leave to simmer for three to four hours over a low flame for a rich fragrance and flavor. This classic Chinese health food smell is said to have made a meditating Buddhist monk jump over a fence. It is still popular among those who have lost their appetites or their strength. For foreigners unfamiliar with Asian health foods and those who have tasted the soup upon recommendation, we wonder how they felt about the taste. How do you taste? 
It's good, yeah. Very unique. I like it. <laughs> Makes me strong. That's good. <laughs> I need to be strong. Mm, yeah, I like it. It tastes good. A farm located in a quiet and distant place. Another top ingredient for stimulant foods is here. It has black feathers and black skin. It's none other than the silky chicken, which has long been used as a food with a medicinal purpose. 오골계 대해서는 특히 이제 문헌에 보면은 천하라의 여태수가 이른 살에 오골계 탕을 먹고 등나물 했다는 기록이 있습니다. 그만큼 오골계는 우리 몸에 좋다고 문헌에 알려져 있는 겁니다. The soft shell turtle, a fortifying ingredient in itself, best matches the silky chicken. So here we have the Korean stimulant food soft shell turtle, silky chicken soup, yongbong tang. 이제 용봉탕 재료로는 자라하고 오골계를 쓰고 그 다음에 이제 한약재로서 필요한 이제 쓸수 있는 게 이제 감초, 천궁, 그 다음에 대추, 당귀, 구기자, 생강, 마늘, 그 다음에 이제 몸에 좋다는 이제 녹가까지 쓰고 있습니다. You put the clean turtle and chicken in water. and add medicinal herbs that are good for you. Boil everything for about an hour. This completes the fortifying broth. For those unable to forget the taste, the traditional soup is served. The herbs seep into the chicken and the turtle, removing the fishy taste, the well-done meat and the thick soup. Slowly savouring the taste, you feel your entire body gaining strength and balance. Food Relay. The wish to get healthy through food is without a question a desire for both the East and the West. Then what would be some fortifying foods for the West? This Belgian specialty restaurant's popular dish is mussels. The healthy taste and variety of flavors are said to make fans out of people from all over the world. The cream is sweet, really sweet. You have many kind of like different way to cook the mussel, and this one, I, for my part, for my for myself, it's the better one. Then you have well, with wine, with tomato sauce. We have many many way to cook it. But. To make this healthy Belgian dish, first cut onions and celery into small pieces. Also cut blue cheese and put it all at the bottom. Add the fresh mussels on top. Mussels are shellfish without salt, so use the cheese and cream sauce to season, but don't overdo it and retain the natural taste. Boil everything together. The soft texture of the mussels and the unique smell and taste of the cheese blend together for a fabulous taste experience. Mussels not only grow in Belgium, but in the Netherlands, France and Italy as well. They have excellent adhesive strength, so hundreds of them get caught at the same time. The coral colored meat is high in vitamin D and said to be good for your liver. Taurin 같이 그 간에 간이나 이런 숙취해소에 좋은 그런 영양분들 또 칼슘, 인, 비타민, 또 철분 뭐 이런 성분들이 많이 들어 있어 가지고요. 몸 체내에 있는 그런 숙취를 해소하는 그런 역할을 많이 하기 때문에 Now the mussels will be flavored with tomato sauce. The lycopene in the tomato combines well with the mussels to make a healthy red mussel soup. Wine sauce is also interesting with mussels. 홍합 자체의 그 비린 맛을 다 없애주고 
상큼한 와인 향이 곁들여져서 굉장히 맛있는 담백한 홍합 요리가 됩니다. Other than the exquisite pairing of taste and nutrition, we can find another healthful solution in food. It is to enjoy and savor every moment that you taste delicious food. So you, you take one nice clean shell that you can clean, and then it's going to help you to eat the other muscles. So you do like this, like this. And voilà. More easy. It's because it's more easy, more convenient. Very convenient. <laughs> Food that's good for the body is like medicine. It's the fastest way to take care of your health and another way to happiness. Precious ingredients and plentiful nutrients help restore our bodies when we're worn out. Now that we've found fortifying foods from around the world on today's culinary journey, we'll embark on a new cuisine tour next time. Healthy Kitchen. Hey, it's your favorite MC, Jake, once again looking for the healthy ingredient of the day. But what can it be? Hmm. Well, can it be this? That? No, it's this! This week's special ingredient is set to travel 3,000 kilometers without eating and has more than 100 times the amount of vitamin A compared to other fish. It's none other than eel, a health ingredient that will nourish and invigorate our bodies. We're on the road again today, this time on a long-distance journey to get our special ingredient. Whew, guys, all right. I just ran for two hours and I finally got here. And, oh, where is here? Here is a farm that has been really, like, rumored to have the best, freshest eels. Yes, eels. And, um, shall we go inside? Because uh, I'm really eager to find out. Well, you can stay here. I'm, I'm going to go inside. I know they are. Where are they? Surprisingly, it's on, dark guys. in here. I don't see any eels. There's only dark, murky water in the aquarium. Where could all the eels have gone? Can't find the eels anywhere. Where are they? But, uh, I see somebody over there. I'm gonna go ask them. All right, so ready? Let's go. No, no. Hey, I can't find the eels anywhere. Where are they? Oh my goodness! <laughs> but how come I couldn't see them earlier? It was so dark, I couldn't see them earlier. Oh, I see. Well, I'm gonna join him now, because I want to get a better look at those eels. Puss in boots. No, Jake in boots. The transformation is complete. Think about that. It looks pretty nice now, but will you be able to maintain your dignity? <gasps> oh my god! There's like over a million eels in here. Look! Oh! Oh! How many eels are in here in this tank? Oh my god! Look! I've never seen this many eels in my life. Wow! So how do you know which eels are fresh and healthy? 장어의 등 색깔이랑 배 색깔이 색깔 구분이 명확해야 되고요. 어 뒷지름이나 옆지름이 쪽에 출혈이 없어야 되고 빨갛게 윤기가 나야 되고 길이는 한 3, 40cm 정도. 그 정도 되는 장어가 좋은 장어. Self-acclaimed muscle man Jake looks like he can't handle the weight and violent movements of full-grown eels. These babies are stamina embodied. Ooh, I finally got here and I have your eels before you. Okay, I'm about to go downstairs and we're gonna cook. I'm going right now. He's always hiding somewhere. Where is he at? He's always 
Jai. How are you? How are you, Jake? What, what do you have there? Wow. <laughs> I was carrying this thing for about a good, you know, two hours. My goodness. Outside, so, yeah, just for those, you. Those. Got a good workout. Those are very fresh. How are you? I'm good. How good. are you? Good. Those are fresh, 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 fresh. Excellent. Voila! It is eel. It okay. Is. Look at it. Look at these guys. Look. Uh, a really long body, and I don't know. I've heard that you could cook each part of the eel differently. I'll yes, you could. Right. Yeah. Really? You could. Yeah. Oh. There's more tender parts of, of of the body than others. Okay. Now, from what my belief system is, is that what I've learned over the years of, of cooking eel before yes. is that the most tender part of the eel mm -hmm. is in the front of it. Right. Because the back is what pushes it uh -huh. so to actually, it's very muscular and a little bit more tough. The okay. front is where all the flesh is, up here, just behind the head. Okay, so that's the And part that's that very, is. very tender. It's very, very good, yeah. That's the part that I'm going to eat. Okay. And, uh, the and I'll, back, I'll eat the tough part. Yeah, the, okay. this right here. Yeah. The, but you were doing the wave. I'm doing the wave. Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> Come here, give me a hand, give me a hand. Let me okay. tell you. Go back, do it back, do it back. Come on, bring it back. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Favorite, personally favorite um, eel dishes? Uh, like? For me, I love to have just. He just, he just <laughs> fall on the floor, but yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Squirming Woo! around. <laughs> <laughs> There's a way to pick them up. You want me to show you? Yeah, show me a way to pick them up. Because... Right behind the head. Ah, uh, okay. Right behind the head, right here. Whoop. Maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong. Right behind there. Just hold really? them like that. Let me try. Just like that. Okay. You clamp right. them behind the head, and yeah. they can't go anywhere. Yeah. There you go. Oh, uh, you're right. Clamp dude. it though. Clamp it right okay, here. Clamp it like this. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Squeeze his head so he has no power. Uh, there oh, you go. Oh, he's, he's oh, gonna eat him. Oh, let go. Let go, dude. He just bit him. That's not good. Uh-uh. Look at him. Eels are said to help weak bodies regain energy and increase stamina, but where does this strength come from? Eels contain a lot of high-quality protein, unsaturated fatty acids and calcium, but most of all it has vitamin A. Eel mussels hold a lot of vitamin A, which affects the body's tissues. This helps prevent adult diseases and provides adults with strength. Compared to beef, mackerel or eggs, eels have a much higher content of vitamin A, which helps bring up our stamina levels. Step 1. Eel Salad The main ingredient for our first dish is a plump eel, fragrant thyme, lemons to eliminate the eel's fishy smell. Okay. okay. What are we going to do now? Cynthia? Well, here we have an eel that is already filleted and clean. Okay. Okay. Mm. Now what we're going to do is a salad, a grilled salad. Grilled salad. A grilled salad okay. with grilled eel and a fresh beautiful green salad with it, okay? Um, fresh. Now okay. what you want to do is you want to take some really good sea salt and just sprinkle it along the eel. Okay. Some beautiful beautiful fresh sea salt. And rub that inside. Go ahead. You can rub it in there. I can rub it. You can all rub right. it. Mm. Rub it all over it. Then you get a half a lemon. Half a lemon. And you okay. squeeze it on top. Squeeze it on top. Everything. Everything. This you, is. You don't know how strong my hand has got since starting the show. Because you're always squeezing, squeezing things. All of it, exactly. You just squeeze a lemon all the way yeah. down. Yeah. And then come Beautiful. back Beautiful. Like That's good. And then you rub it in. Rub it in. You rub it all in. All right. Put some olive oil and thyme on top of the eel and cut it into small pieces. Marinate it for about 10 minutes. Okay, so right now, we're just marinating this. Okay. I'll There's a marinate. marination process. Okay. Why do we marinate things, you remember? Because 
You want to change either the flavor, exactly, or, or the, the texture. The texture, right? Yeah. That's why we marinate things, okay? Yeah, I, I forgot. Flavor and texture, flavor and texture, flavor, flavor and texture. texture, flavor and texture, okay. texture, flavor, texture, texture flavor. flavor, texture, flavor. And that's what we mar marinate. Are you dyslexic? Can you go backwards and forwards? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. Flavor yeah. and texture and <laughs> texture, flavor. Right. Yeah. Okay. Start grilling it on a grill pan. When the skin turns lightly brown, take it out and put it on another dish. Next, make a salad with various vegetables, shallots, raisins, lemon juice and olive oil. You want some mixing music? Hey! Okay! More? Let me do a good mix on this. Okay. Plump and juicy eel meets fresh and tangy vegetables. A vibrant eel salad is complete. Mm. Can I try it? Yes, you can. Because I, I, I love food. Yes, you can. I know you do. <laughs> I know you do. I absolutely love food. Oh my goodness. The dressing, it just goes so well. Mm. With the eel. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Unbelievable. I can't I can't even say anything. I can't even I'm lost for words. Seriously. I am. That's it. Step two, eel rolls. The main ingredients for the second dish, an eel, from head to toe, sun-dried tomatoes and basil, and some healthy eggplants. Okay, now it's time for a second dish. Second dish, yes. And what is it? We're going to make eel once again. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. Now we're going to use everything as a decoration and use the body. Okay. And we're going to stuff it and smear it with tomato pesto. What you want to do is you want to put this inside the blender with oh, the it basil. Seems like it's like um, some olive, is it olive oil? It's it olive oil, yes. Oh, okay. Put in some garlic, salt and rosemary, then grind it up in a blender to finish the sauce. Not a liquid. So we're going to take our eel. A spoonful of this beautiful pesto. Uh -huh. See this beautiful pesto, and just smear it in there. And then put it in here. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Okay, and you just want to smear that. Rolling to it roll up. Roll it up. Whoa! What are you doing there, man? You're rolling it up. I'm rolling it up. Make sure it's nice and tight. Whoa! And then what you do is you just place it like that. Put the eel rolls as well as the leftover bone and head into a pan to grill them until they're a crispy yellow on the outside. Then to thoroughly cook the insides, put them straight in an oven. Absolutely perfect. It's really, really, really good. Looks perfect, smells perfect. What you want to do is put... Yes. Okay. Okay. Then you can use the tail. As a decoration piece, if you want. And then you can use the head also as a decoration piece, like so. Just put some wow. good cherry tomato on there. And that's it. You're done. That's, that's wow. basically a dish right there. You can feel the stamina just looking at it. Decorate the eel by putting the eggplant and pumpkin on top, and voila, the eel has transformed into a brilliant dish. Eels are the perfect ingredient with which to take care of your health and eat a delicious meal at the same time. The best way to eat it would be to put it over an open charcoal fire or cut up the white meat and boil it with vegetables. Different marinades also enhance the flavor as you can place it on rice. A spicy eel stew can even chase away your stress. 
Why don't you try gaining back your appetite and energy with some eel? Hi, um, I'm from Aedang TV and um, okay, oh, you're not even hearing me, okay. <laughs> I'm from Aedang TV and we just did an episode on eels. Is it okay if you just taste no? It's so good. Oh my god. It's just like, I mean, I, I, I can't even describe in words how good it is. It's so good. It's good. I wasn't too hungry. It was surprised hungry. Oh, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> if, you, if you could just express it with your body, like a, like a body language, like just body language. Away. Okay. Yeah. Zero. Oh, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> very good. But in, in Europe, usually it's very good. So. In Europe, oh, okay. Yeah, more like that. How's it taste? It's yummy. It's yummy. Nice. Nice. Good. Fresh taste. Good. Ah, nice. Good. All right. Okay, you could try some of that. Yeah. Wow. This is the only reveal that you just This is really good. Really good? Yeah. yeah. Really? Healthy Kitchen! kitchen. Woo! Healthy Kitchen! One more time, one more time.